So how do we actually change the resistance of our TRX exercises? We've got our upper body exercise and our lower body exercise, and both have a little bit of a different way that we're going to go about it. So if we have a row or a push-up or some other upper body exercise, very simply, the closer our feet are to the anchor point, so to the wall or to the uh, tree branch that we've got it hooked on, or in this case, the door that we have it hooked on, the closer my feet are to that door, the more of my body weight I'm going to have to actually move in that exercise. So with my feet here, for instance, this is a pretty easy row, but if I walk my feet forward, you'll see that I start leaning more and more and it's heavier and heavier. And as my feet get even towards the door, so if I wanted to actually go to the door, I'd have to shorten these a little bit. But if I wanted to walk my feet way up close, maybe even put them on the door, now I've got all my body weight and I can do my rows from here. All right? So that's for the upper body. The lower body is a little bit different. Because I'm still obviously using handles, it actually enables me to do my lower body exercises with a little bit of upper body assistance as opposed to adding some stability. So I can actually regress my lower body exercises quite easily. So if I wanted to do a squat, for instance, I would just hold on to my handles. I can sit into my squat and then I can actually use my upper body to help pull me out of that squat. So that's helps somebody who maybe is a little bit um, detrained, so maybe a bit more sedentary, hasn't trained a lot in the past, and is just new to exercise. But as I progress through, I may actually want to create a bit more resistance, maybe using either single leg exercises or by facing out and away from the anchor point. So for the single leg exercises, a lot of the new TRXs actually have a loop that sits here at the top that prevents it from sliding all the way through. This is a bit of an older TRX. And so what I'm going to do with the handles here is I'm actually going to take one handle and I'm going to put it into this triangle here. I'm going to push it straight through. And then I'm going to put it through one more time. And now I've actually locked my two TRX straps together. So if I wanted to do maybe a rear foot elevated squat, split squat, so more of a single leg squat, I can now bring this closer to the door. I strap my foot in and I turn around. I'm going to take my couple steps out. Now I'm going to focus a little bit more on balance and I'm going to sit right down and now I have to push up with a single leg. So I can adjust the resistance in that way as well. So those are a couple different ways that I can vary the resistance for upper body and lower body exercises.